Oh my god, today is Wednesday, June 20th, otherwise known as Bryn's 18th birthday, and the last day of work, and I'm off now for summer. The kids and I are just getting ready. We're heading to The Incredibles 2 movie. Um, we're gonna go see that, and then we're gonna go meet Scott in Bellevue and go to dinner for Bryn's birthday. It's such a weird feeling that I don't have to be anywhere um, tomorrow. It's like... It's really weird. Like, oh my God, I have all of July and all of August. Oh my God, that's so much fun. I'm gonna do stuff with the girls and we're gonna see things and go places and I'll bring you with me. Hello, good morning. I just went for a walk and it's like misty. I'm like really wet. This morning we have to go uh, to school <laughs> um, to get Bryn's diploma because at graduation the other day, uh, which was really cool, by the way. Bryn Kathleen Richards. Woo! Benjamin Thomas Rosar. Veronica Triet Ritchie. Jessica Rumble. Now conclude the commencement ceremony for the class of 2018. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations, alumni. I do mine first. Sure. There you go. What is it? Oh. <laughs> do I get them too? No, it's just me. <laughs> Wait, are we away? It's before we, are. we go away. <laughs> oh. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Maybe she's not inviting you. you. Oh, we have know. four tickets, and Daddy doesn't want to go. But it, was, it was cheaper to buy four, frankly, for some reason. <laughs> something <Wow>. special. <laughs> so now you have a seat for purses. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. Happy Thank you. Thank And at the you. restaurant, you're like, oh my god, it was a year ago today, we got Harry tickets. Oh. And Daddy's like, what tickets? And I'm thinking, oh my god, <laughs> don't say anything, because he doesn't know the difference between them. <laughs> I think I know what this is. Oh, is it a pro? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, man. University bound. Oh. That's the last computer we will ever buy you. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. I was just saying last night how mine doesn't have any storage. Yeah. I was like, it's not working. <laughs> You're welcome. Tara can pick up the collar. It's just silver. It's just white. Yeah. Where are we close to that? I don't know. Wait, but am I going to Nile? Too? Yeah. Okay. Me <laughs> <laughs> but wait, am I excited or am I really excited? <laughs> Thank you. You're Where'd welcome. you get this little box? My craft room. <laughs> At graduation the other day, they just give them like the little booklet and then it has like a, um, the school symbol thing on it and then it's but it's only it's like a five by seven so very small um document <laughs> and scott's like take a photo of everything your school records and and your diploma and everything because for work i needed to get all that information for my job so scott was like tuck that somewhere so that you have it 30 years from now oh Bryn has a doctor's appointment too she's doing okay with her lupus they have her on more drugs now and they had to put her back on um, steroids and she now has to give herself a shot um, she has to give herself a needle every friday um, with some new medication that suppresses her immune system so she has to be very careful um like to not get sick and and stuff like that because it'll be hard to fight we have to go to the doctor for a different reason today uh, we don't know if it's the medication um, causing the issue, but it's almost like a, an acid reflux thing that she's got now. <laughs> this poor kid. And then I want to buy a binder. This is like all my stuff for work. I have the new calendar printed out for next year. So I go back to work on Tuesday, September 4th, and then school starts on the 5th. But it's all my um, 
paperwork. It's all my benefit stuff and, and all that. So I was rifling through my drawer where I kept everything and it was all very confusing. So I've put it all in order and um, everything together. So I want to get a binder to keep that in. And this, I, I know I'm on a spending freeze, but I've just, <laughs> I've been so badly behaved lately. Well, it's by Ray Dunn. Um, Mariel had talked to me Oh, I said my lamp. Mariel had talked to me about his um, designs and stuff before, but this was so cool. It has um, a watercolor sable brush and a fountain pen, and in here it says draw, draw, paint, and sketch. Karen thought it said draw, paint, and stretch, <laughs> but I just thought it was really cool. And I don't know what the hell I'll do with it, but I have it on my desk and I might even keep some brushes in there. And I could technically pour some ink or some paint in here, but I might not get that messy. Yesterday was the last day at work and my boss, um, the main teacher, he's leaving. And we found this out a few months ago. So I was like, oh, okay. And I had taken photos and videos of the kids all year. And I was like, oh, it'll be a nice way to end the year. And I'll play this video. Then I find out Tuesday that my other boss, so there's two main teachers, he's leaving. I was like, are you kidding me? So we were just like, so sad. And he found out Monday, but he knew that it was like a big day. <laughs> it's like, um, cause I had Bryn's graduation and I was so sad because I've worked with a lot of the seniors cause the seniors, um, some of them were helping us with our students in different classes and stuff. And they would come into our class and help us or they'd help us in PE with the students. So they were leaving. So I was, you know, sad about that. And I was sad about Bryn and it was just very emotional. And I left to go home and get ready to go to the graduation. And then Bryn and all the kids were taken on buses to Safeco for the graduation and um, <clears throat> in between leaving school and going to Safeco, I came home and had a cry for a few minutes. I just had such a stress head headache over the weekend. And I'm just, I'm happy for it, but it's like, holy crap. Like I remember the first day of kindergarten and now it's like the last day of high school. And I know in the big realm of life, high school is just a blip, but <laughs> when it's, when it's finally your kid and, and they're graduating, it's like, oh my God, it was, it was such a big deal. It was like emotionally wrecked on Monday as it was. So he was like, I just wanted everybody to get through graduation yesterday. And then I thought I'd tell you today. And as soon as we took the kids out to the bus, we were walking back um, to the classroom and uh, he's like, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys for a minute. And I was like, oh my God, he's leaving. And then he started to talk to us and that's, that's exactly what he had to tell us. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm just so sad right now. And then yesterday I, I played the video and um, uh, that I had made and it was the goodbye video and I, I did a little speech and, you know, said that I'm, I'm really going to miss the two of them. And I started to cry and I was like, they're the, like the crazy brothers I never had. And it was just all very emotional. And Scott's like, I don't get it. He's like, we have people leave the hotel all the time. But I think in this profession, like working with kids with special needs, you very much wear your heart on your sleeve and it's a very... Um, it's a very emotional job. It's a very compassionate. That lady's gone up the hill twice, man. She's like Wonder Woman. When I turn on the camera, she walked up this, this hill past our house and it's a steep, crappy hill. I even hate walking down across the street to get the mail. And then she's just walked around again. That's crazy. Anyway, so it's just a very, um, emotional job. And I think because you all end up working together to, to basically survive your day, um, and get through your day with these kids. Um, I think there's just this weird bond that in, ends up created because you're working together and you all have the same goal. And I know Scott and them have it at the hotel, but it's, it's different. I think anyway, I'm going to have two new teachers that I'm going to have to get to know next year. And there's going to be, um, new paras as like, Oh my God, like I just like everything to stay the same. I'm happy I have my job because I think with Bryn leaving, it's going to be really hard on our family. So I'm glad I'm going to have 
routine and structure come September. I think that's really going to help. Um, it was a good year and I'm looking forward to next year, even though it's going to be different. And as mom always said, nothing good ever stays the same. So, and change is good. Change is, change is fun. So it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I get it everywhere. It's all good. <laughs> we're going to go to the school and we got to go to the doctor and we'll probably head to Target. What were we going to Target for? And we're going to end up in Bell Square, Bell, um, Bellevue Mall. Um, people call it Bell Square. There is a nice mall in Bellevue that we always go to and I've showed you guys um, footage from there before and they have the Apple store there and, and she's going to need the screen case um, for her phone. Oh, she got a phone for her birthday yesterday. Oh, nice. Say thank you, Granda. Thank you, Granda. <laughs> it socks. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's here! Yay! Well, I didn't know that. that was it. <laughs> Let's go! Thank you. You're welcome. So basically, Scott gave his paycheck <laughs> to Apple this week. And we figured, here's your last computer we're buying you. Good luck in life. Have fun in university. I think I'm going to start some organizing things. The first thing I'm going to work on is my um, sock and underwear drawer, uh, which probably won't show you too much of that because really, um, that's, that's, we don't need to share everything. I have like my pajamas and bathing suits and stuff, but basically I can't really open and close the drawers cause I just shove. I don't necessarily fold. I shove things in there. I would like some summer pajamas and, um, yeah, so I might buy a couple of those at some point. I might buy some just to have for our trip. Some of you are thinking we're going somewhere with a mouse and we're not. Um, not going to Disney World, not going to Disneyland. I do want to go there so bad. Um, but no, this is, this is, um, just going to be a relaxing vacation and we're really looking forward to it. So, um, yeah, it's quarter after eight in the morning and I'm not at my job right now. So I'm going to go make my egg and my piece of toast and I'm going to sit in front of the TV. We went to Incredibles yesterday. I Friggin' fell asleep. I do it in every movie. I've seen the beginning and end of every movie ever made and I've fallen asleep through the middle of each of them. So generally it was a good movie. <laughs> anyway, it was mostly about eating popcorn in the dark and being with my kids. So there you go. Today I am wearing a belt. I don't like belts. <laughs> if you know two things about me, I hate socks. I hate belts three things. I don't tuck things in, but what it is, is I have these jeans that I bought probably a year ago. They're very comfortable. They're very narrow at my ankles and it's great and everything. And they have some stretch to them, but they're too big in the waist. They fit right now. Cause I've just put them on and they're like, you know, straight out of the dryer jeans are like snug. And that's some days that's good. Some days it's not today. These are very comfortable, but as the day goes on and I start walking, it's like they loosen up. And then I feel like I'm constantly pulling them up. There's no fear that the pants are going to fall off, but I just was like, if I have a belt, then mentally I'll know that the pants are going to fall off. They just feel like they sag in the bum and they're really not because they're not loose jeans. <laughs> Bryn had to wear a pair of her pants. She's going to be helping out at a golf tournament nearby. Um, she's going to be a scorekeeper and her golf coach um, suggested it and I put it out there to see if anyone was interested. So she went for the training thing the other day and she wore these beige pants that she owns. I think they're the only actual pants besides jeans and leggings that she owns and they were too big in the waist. So I had this belt in my room, but I still had the tags on it and I went in one day and the tags were off and I'm like, I didn't do it when, who did that? But I think it was Bryn. Cause I think she wanted to wear the belt with her pants because they're, her pants are too big. And I'm like, Oh God, love you. Thinking my belt would work. <laughs> like it would wrap around her at least twice. So I'll let you know how I make it with my belt. We're in the car. We're at school. Bryn has gone in to get her diploma. There goes our vice principal. He's not going to be back next year either. Or is the principal? Or is, I swear, a half the school? <laughs> Everybody's leaving. How was grade nine overall? How was your freshman year? This is, this is what we're not gonna do. 
Kerrigan's trying to help me change my vlogs and make them more interesting. She just sits there and talks for half an hour and then people watch it. (laughs) But her audience is so specific. And there's like... Well, I only have 1,800 subscribers on this channel. And those are the only people who are like watching just a person sitting there. But that's okay. (laughs) No, it's a... But if... Tell me how to do this from a 15-year-old perspective. If If I want to grow... people to actually watch you than the people that watch you when you were just doing photo booth videos. Oh my god. That those were in the beginning, those were Kerrigan. So boring. <laughs> and people subscribed then and they kept it now so they like you just talking cuz that's what they came for. But no one else wants that, you know? <laughs> They're boring. <laughs> well, boring for you cuz you guys are teenagers. Like what are your vlogs about that you watch? Well, first of all, they're like 10 minutes long. So my vlogs are too long. By like 10 times. <laughs> <sighs> Kerrigan's trying to tell me how to vlog. Yeah, this is good. It goes in the little casey thing. The diploma holder. <laughs> well, that makes more Who sense. Who would have thought? No, but that's a cute size. Dear Rin, happy birthday to you. I want to get that one. I had the deepest voice. You do. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's dark. (laughs) It's Friday, June 22nd, my second day off. So we've been off a day and a half and they've had me out shopping twice. So I'm gonna have to put the kibosh on that because we can't afford to keep doing that. I did go to um, Target yesterday and I got a pair of beige shorts. Um, And then we went to Macy's and I bought a pair of navy shorts and two pairs of Oh my God, they're really soft capri pants. I don't know what the material is. I'm calling them my airplane pants because, oh my God, when we go to Halifax and when we go to where we're gonna go in July, they're gonna be the pants I wear on the airplane. Oh my God. And they're the type of material that you could like ball them up and then like they wouldn't wrinkle. Oh my God, I got a pair in navy and a pair in black. Bryn and I are like, we want to tear Kerrigan's room apart. (laughs) And she's like, no, I'm not ready yet. So we're working on that. Uh, We want to start tackling her room and rearrange it and stuff. (laughs) I need to mow the lawn today. So, and it's supposed to rain later. So I might go out and do that as soon as I get home. um, And then get that done. It takes like 15 minutes with our new little mower. It's so fun. And I'll show you my mower when I go to do that. And then I'm gonna come in and maybe start some of the downstairs housework. I'll get everything done, I just won't get the vacuuming done. And then I'll, when the kids get up, I'll vacuum. Let me show you what I've been doing. I've been doing hand studies. I have this moleskin that it's like a floppy landscape one. And I was like, I don't like this thing. And it's already starting to bug me because it has perforated pages and even the first page is starting to lift up. But I've been doing hand studies and just practicing how to draw some hands. And I've just been getting references off of Pinterest. And I think I have, yep, I have one more page there. So that's been fun. Um, It's given me something to draw. So I want to do hands, feet, um, facial expressions, and profiles and like when you turn like this way like you kind of don't even really see the face so I want to practice that a little bit hey I'm back it is 703 uh, I've been for my walk I've mowed the grass with my little mower I was using it to uh, throw some weeds in a little uh, catch-all car but it's like it makes it does make a little bit of noise and in our neighborhood you're not supposed to be mowing your lawn until about nine o'clock so i've stopped for now because i could see that the neighbors have their bedroom windows open or upstairs windows open i don't know if it's their bedroom or not um so yeah so i kind of went over a bit of clover that's out back but i'll um i'll go over it a little bit uh in a little while so the girls are driving me crazy already um (laughs) they sound bored It's only day two of summer vacation. I'm in a parking lot here in Sammamish 
uh, the kids are getting Jimmy John's. I'm going to get McDonald's. We usually eat out on Fridays. And um, Bryn's going out to a graduation party. Another one. Like, school is done. Like, people just let it go. <laughs> Hello. Was that a lot of effort exerted? I want to yes. pass out. Why do you want to I'm pass so out? I'm so tired. How late did you guys stay up? I don't know. I got like 10 hours of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I overslept. Oh. I, I need a solid seven. I that need a I'm milkshake. <sighs> yes, children. I just want to play Papa's Freezeria. What? Is that the game you're playing? Yeah. I'm, gonna play, I'm on day like 17. Hey, Bryn. How's your life? All my knuckles hurt. Look Let me see your hands. Okay. <laughs> Maybe don't hold your finger up like that. Look how inflamed it is. There's her henna from our graduation party the other night. Oh, this You're one. like yellow. This one. Do you see how not that is? a normal color. It's like they're tough. Are they cold? Like do they hurt right now? No, they are cold. They're, you don't they, feel cold. They ache. It's cold outside. Brynn, your fingers, like look. Your fingers are purple. Look at her finger. This it's is the purple. dead one. Is that your dead finger? Her finger's not actually dead. It just it, looks it dead. Has beats, it has 32 beats per minute. Yeah, when they do, like, when they have to put the heart rate monitor thing on her finger, yeah. it never picks up. What is wrong with you there now? It hurts. Look. <laughs> it's like I got beat up. <laughs> Bryn, you were jumping Ooh. around on castles and stuff no. the other night. This is something different. This is today. Look. Should I show my back? <laughs> <laughs> And Kerrigan has marks on her spine because she's thin and her spine is trying to burst through her flesh. I'm too skinny so it's always bruised. This is the render um, sketchbook that I told you guys about, R-E-N-D-R, -E and I'm using like Copic markers and I did this whole drawing there and it did not um, bleed through at all, as you can see. Isn't that cool? I love it. And the paper's really nice. I find the marker goes on um, a little bit darker than you think uh, when you first do it, and then it, it seems to lighten up a little bit as the marker dries. Bryn and I went to Value Village today, and I got a really nice jacket. It's an Anne Klein um, trench coat. Isn't this nice? Oh, hang on. I'm disheveled. Isn't it nice? So I just thought it'd be a nice... It goes down to my knee because I'm short, but I just thought it'd be a nice jacket for uh, going out, you know, like with dress pants and stuff. The only problem is it's missing a button right here. So what I was thinking about doing is taking the, the top one off and putting it down here because I'll probably never do up the top button. Good morning. How are you? My allergies are so screwed up and I take an allergy pill. Yesterday I went through um, my bureau drawer and tidy that all up but when there's stuff that's been there since Bermuda um my allergies get so in a whack I sneezed so much yesterday and then we did Kerrigan's closet and she has so much stuff from Bermuda too that was in there so it was like oh my god um and I'm still a little bit sh uh stuffed up from that and I have a bit of a headache so I just took some Advil today I'm going to go down to Lowe's and get paint for Kerrigan's room and we're going to tackle her room. We emptied out her stuff yesterday out of her closet and we were thinking about moving her bed and then getting her like an armoire to put clothes in and it makes no sense to like get rid of her closet by putting her bed in her closet and taking the doors off and then putting in an armoire because why well, get rid of the closet but it's the way the room is shaped and the size of the bed and I've I told both of them to just get a twin size bed but they didn't want to they wanted the full size so it's like all right that's gonna take up half your room so the way we're gonna move her bed is to take the doors off the closet and move it into move her bed into her closet and have it coming out from there so that takes away her closet but once we went through everything um she has like eight things on hangers and <clears throat> they can all be folded she does want some kind of shoe storage but i just got thinking this morning and i haven't talked to her about it but she has a bed that has drawers under it she has the brimnes series um from ikea and it has four big drawers underneath two are going to be at a commission because the bed's going to be pushed up against the wall so i'll have to take the handles off the drawers and and um 
push the bed up against the wall on one side. So she'll have access to the drawers on the other side. And I don't know if she's going to have stuff in those drawers or not, but I was thinking she could use one for shoes. So she might go for that idea. So we've moved on to Kerrigan's room. These are some blankets, some garbage. We had a clothing rack, but we put too much on it. This stuff is being salvaged and put downstairs. We got some garbage, but her closet is now empty. You can see that it's purple. So this is gonna get painted. This bed is going to come into the closet and be pushed back in over there. So we are going to um, take the headboard from her bed because the bed's so huge and it's not like you can swivel it around. We're gonna take that off put that in the closet and then the foot of the bed is going to be the head of the bed because we're just going to slide it over that way. So I'm back from Lowe's. I went down and got paint. So the kind I got is the eggshell interior Velspar signature and I got the ultra white. I figured there's no point stirring and try to mix a white color if the paint is already white because Kerrigan wants white paint and I was like I didn't want to mix it with anything and then end up with a greenish white or a pinkish white or whatever. Um, I ended up getting a thing of this. It's interior eggshell. It's a uh, paint and primer but it's just an extra little can to go over her closet because her closet's purple. And I figure if I go over it a little bit um, with this extra paint, and this was $10 down to three something, so I grabbed that. Then, because her closet has a shelf in there and I gotta take that out, um, I have to put some putty on it just to cover up the holes, and Dad suggested this one because it goes on pink and dries white. So it's called Dry Dex. Um, so yeah, it's America's number one seller. Do I hear a child behind me? Good morning. How are you? Are you ready to paint? No. Okay. Granddad had a good appointment today. They're gonna do chemo round nine and 10. I took the stuff down to Value Village and I just need Kerrigan to wake up. She's up. She up? She's All right, let's do this. All right, so we got the closet doors off of the closet. They're massive. So I had to take the little wheels off to get it out because they would not come out of the track. Of course, her bedroom in Bermuda, the stupid doors wouldn't stay on the track. Um, so yeah, so I've screwed those back on just so they don't get lost. These are going to go down to the garage and um, we'll hide them out there somewhere or under the house or somewhere. I don't know. So now you can see in the closet, I've started taking the shelf off. Um, are you okay with the track stand up there? I guess. Like there's a metal track. Oh yeah. As long as you can't see it from the outside. I, mean, I can take that off. It doesn't it's matter. Just screwed in. There we go. Ooh, look. Fresh, clean carpet. Whoa. It's the only spot. <laughs> Whenever we have guests over, we'll have to bring them up here to this one little spot. There's the clean part of the carpet. <laughs> Something I forgot to do was switch out my new glasses for my old glasses. That way if I get paint on them or I scratch them or something, it's no big deal. Dad always had painting glasses. I have an old pair of his painting glasses. Woo! They're a little dusty. Okay, so I just used the putty and put that on the holes in the closet and it'll start to turn white um, when it dries. You can start seeing the edges of it turning white. So we just have to wait for that to dry and then I just need to sand it a little bit. And at this point I'm praying that I have some sandpaper <laughs> downstairs because I didn't buy any. So we shall see. Can you, oh, you're going to hate me for going up and downstairs, can you bring up a Ziploc bag so we can put all this stuff in? Preferably a How big, big a okay. just get a big one. I mean it doesn't need to be giant but well even just the sandwich bag will fit. Yeah. Here you grab and, ah. and so we'll just take them into our room. You don't need three people to move one well, door. we still need to move the bureau, and she's I'm the weak. size of a flea, I'm so weak. I need your help with this. Ooh. I mean, we'll have to do two coats. Two coats always oh. makes it look nicer. <laughs> now roll it at the top of the ramp, 
and knock some of it off. No, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift. Yep. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Easy, Brynn. It's not a race. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't get any on your sweatshirt. I think it's done. Okay. Aggressive painting. Oh my god. <laughs> Brynn. Why are you done? <laughs> so we got two walls done. We got the closet painted with the purple painted over with. It, <laughs> it could probably use another coat. You can see over there the difference though. So I just have the other two walls left. And um, yeah, I might actually go over this one more time before I go downstairs and get some lunch. But it's feeling a lot better than it had. So, okay, I'm full of paint. I got paint all in my hair, apparently. If you can see what I'm showing you. <laughs> so I've done two coats on this side of the room. So we're just gonna wait for that to dry a little bit and then we'll move her bed over into position and then we can move her um, bookshelf and her desk. Um, but what I'm gonna do right now is film a video uh, for my craft channel. The girls are watching TV and I've been working on my daily um, drawing journal thing. So I would like to um, do a video for that while I'm waiting. All right, okay, here I go. Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and today I want to show you guys my render sketchbook. I just came up to see if the wall is dry, and it is. So this is what's happening now. We've got the bureau, her mirror in the hall. We've got the rest of the paint stuff out here because at this point we now have the bed moved into position. Does it feel like it's sloping? I don't know. Okay, so because her drawers on that side are gonna be out of commission, because they're against the wall, she just has um, an extra pillow and some stuffed animals where she wanted to keep. This is memory stuff she wanted to keep. We've managed to put her shoes down in here because this drawer will be accessible once we move stuff around. Um, and yeah, this is kind of the kind of the spot now. This is what's happening. And we will flip the mattress back onto the bed. So we moved all my books onto my bed. I've already sorted through them, um, the ones that I'm keeping and the ones that I'm getting rid of. So we're painting this wall and we're gonna paint this wall that my desk is on. <laughs> Cause it's like brown. Um, Running out of space. Yeah, it's very messy. Brynn's in charge of holding this bookshelf, which she's not doing. I, with my foot. Oh. I'll see if it falls. No, I think I'll be the first one that knows it's going to land on my head. Now my reflexes are back. Alright, so it is, I have no idea what time. What time is it? I don't know. Okay. 7 7.15. 7.15. We started this at about 10 o'clock this morning. We ran out of paint, so we had to get another little quart of paint and we finished it off. I have enough left to do the door. That might be a tomorrow project. So right now we're just waiting for this wall to dry. Um, and then we're going to put the desk back in its place. We're going to bring the bureau in that's in the hall. I'm hanging up her mirror right here. And then that's kind of it. It's kind of a tidy and yeah, just finish for today and then I'm gonna soak in a hot tub and get rid of the paint that's in my hair and on my hands. Update time. <laughs> you have some paint on your carpet only because I stepped in the paint. Oh my god. A little bit. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Let's put down a mat. <laughs> so we're done, except for tidying and hanging stuff up. Carrie wants to get a new picture um, other than the world map. I don't know, she picked that when we moved here. <laughs> Random. Um, so she's got to tidy up her desk, and she wants a non-see-through laundry hamper. But she's got her books and stuff there. So this bookshelf is eventually going, and all these books... Um, 
are apparently going at some point so it'll just be that little shelf and then I guess nothing on that wall and we got stuff out in the hallway we've got our mirror up right there then we have a very happy 15 year old sitting here in her little bed nook in her little nook area the positioning of lamps in this house is like really weird like why that's there but maybe that's why it was meant to be above your bed Mm -hmm. So there we go, and this is all now open floor space. Well, except for all the stuff we need to still deal with. What time is it? So it's 7:45, and we just finished. Started at nine by going down to Value Village, dropped off um, a trunk load of stuff, went over to Lowe's and got paint. Like I said, I ran out of paint. Um, but it's 7.45 right now, so it's an all-day project, and it was good that the kids helped because I needed their help moving the bed and stuff. But it turned out like a cute little nook area, so I don't know if she's going to hang some stuff over there. I think what I would like her to eventually do, if she is going to um, get rid of some books and stuff, I'd like to do a switcheroo and put the bureau, I think, on that wall. And then maybe she can get like a funky little chair or something for there. I don't know. They were joking with me because I always liked in their room putting a little table and chairs. And if they were little, I would totally have a little table and chairs in the middle. I love that. I just always thought that was cute. And she loves having her desk by the window. So that was just never going to change. Um, she always wanted that there. So yeah, Bryn's kind of wishing this was her room now, but... <laughs> Um, I told her we could take her closet doors off and do the same thing, but she's like, there's no point. I'm leaving in two months, so <laughs> it's all good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And this is just such a fun, cute little nook area. So the track is still on for the closet doors, but from back here, you can't see that. And um, yeah, the light actually kind of makes sense now over her bed. That's Bryn's corner pillow there. So she's still trying to figure out if she should donate that to Kerrigan's new room. But um, yeah, so she's got to go through some stuff up there. Um, we have to hang up her calendar over on the sidewall there. And um, yeah, but other than painting the door, it's pretty much done. So there you go. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for this vlog. Uh, the next major thing is my closet that I have to do so I will film some of that to show you and then I think after that it's well the kitchen I want to tidy the kitchen and then the garage so the garage might not be done well I might get on that next week but I need a well-deserved break after today so tomorrow is actually housework I'm not gonna have to do this room because I've vacuumed and painted and cleaned in here all day so it's good the ceiling could stand a coat of paint there's little stars up on the ceiling um but she's like no i like all my stars so the people before us had done that so anyways there you go i hope you guys are doing good hope you're having a good summer so far and i will be back with some more videos soon all right take care guys see ya